The tambourine, as every schoolboy knows, was invented by William Tambourine. But what happened to the tambourine fortune? Where did all the money go? William Tambourine was born in 1889 in Milden, Danikshire. His mother, Mimi Vamimi, was an exotic dancer. His father, Hesketh Tambourine, made his name in gravel. The end still survives. William went to a girls' convent school by sneaking in when no one was looking, and after gaining an apprenticeship in the local drum works, spent 15 years working his way up in the hard, unforgiving percussion industry. But it was his designs for the tambourine that were to bring him fame and fortune. The tambourine was said to have earned William over 38 pounds, nearly three million pounds in today's money. But William Tambourine had no children of his own to leave his estate. William's older brother Arthur found brief fame in a gargling quintet, the Five Garglers. The act included the Irish billionaire Billy O'Hare and Italian soup magnate Giovanni Mullicatoni. Arthur later married a female wrestler but had no children. But William had a younger brother, George, who married and had nine children. George's eldest son, Dandruff, discovered Dandruff and gave it his name, while eldest daughter Mary represented England at blow football. But when William Tambourine suddenly died in 1944 as a result of a misunderstanding, none of the Tambourine wealth went to these children. The entire fortune went only to his brother's youngest son, Alan, William's favourite nephew. Alan's obvious good looks gained him a career as a male model. He lived a life of fast cars and lavish lunches. Soon bored of simply modelling, Alan began dabbling in business ventures, first as an animal dealer, then on to show business, becoming manager of radio's recipe reciter Ridley Ripley and managing the popular singing group Forbidden Temptation. He was also one of the first football agents, his most well-known client being Roy Hornby, who famously disappeared while playing outside right for Derby County. Alan was frittering his money away, but it was at a nightclub in Vange that Alan met and came under the spell of charismatic gangster Four Strokes Wilson. Wilson was trouble, and Alan Tambourine's association with him was to lead to the most lurid of headlines and scandals and a fall from public grace. He became a children's nanny until his retirement, and penniless, lived out his life in the Happy Valley home for the retired nephews of inventors, left to wonder what might have been if his uncle hadn't invented the tambourine or something like that.